Friends. Hey guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be watching Angel Season 1 Episode 13. This next episode is called She... She who? That she better be Kate. Like, oh my god, Kate found out about Angel and then she was absent from the next episode. Like, what the hell is that about? I don't understand how they could do that to us. Episode 11 was such a fun and exciting episode and so traumatic. Kate found out about Angel. There was just like so many crazy things happening. And then suddenly Kate is not even in the next episode. Like, what is she doing? What is she thinking? What is she feeling? Like, these are the questions I have. And instead of getting any answers to that, we had expecting. I mean, it was not the worst episode. But the second worst, maybe? I don't know. It, was, it wasn't great. Not gonna lie. It wasn't the best. I mean, the only thing that was saving it was the cuteness that is Angel, Wesley, and Cordelia together. Like, they're family bond and tie and friendship is just 10 out of 10. I love it so so much. But like the whole episode, you know, after somnambulist or I still don't know how to say that. I know what it means now but I don't know how to say it. I was expecting something amazing, you know? I was expecting some crazy stuff going on with Kate and instead I got a pregnant Cordelia. Yikes. So yeah, anyway, I hope this episode we get to see Kate. Like that's all I want. I want to see Kate so badly. I want to see her interacting with Angel. I want to see her interacting with Cordelia and Wesley. Like, I want her to be more involved in the show. Like, I want her to be brought into their little group in a way and just have her fight other monsters as well. Like, have her meet other monsters and not just vampires. Like, that's all I want. And I hope Kate is the she and she's the focus of this episode. That's all I want. So, yeah. If you guys are interested, the full length reaction for this is going to be linked down below. Let's just jump straight into it. Wait, is this Cordelia's place? Oh, that's me! That's me oh my god, look at his moves! Oh my goodness! <laughs> no! No, he's trying to dance and eat at the same time! I love him! Why is he so relatable? Oh, sweetie! He's also very relatable. <laughs> <laughs> oh honey, you did so badly. And she was so into you as well. Oh sweetie, next time. Would you like to dance? I don't think so. from David Boreanaz I've ever seen. I've lost the ability to talk. <laughs> Honestly, I need that on a loop. His little dancing ability. Oh, Hi, Dennis. Dennis. Oh, is that the she inside the box? Is he gonna open it? Oh, oh no, he's not opening it. All right, good job, guy. It's still gonna get open, but at least now I'll be sad when you die. I take it back. You're a dumbass. Absolute dumbass. I mean, I know you hear someone screaming inside it, but you know what? Oh my god. Oh my god, what? Oh, are you gonna cut away? I wanna know. Oh. I know it's like a very common thing to do with shows that you just cut away. But I'm just so sad every time when that happens because I'm just like so curious. Like, what's in it? Show me straight away. I am not a patient person. Maybe you could crush the beans with your vampire strength. Just <laughs> mush the bat. <laughs> mush them. I, I got two modes with people bite and avoid hard to shift plus I can't get too close I mean he was cooler Good morning. <laughs> oh. oh sweetie no I'm depressed what's up feeling right <laughs> on a man's finances are his own business you want a job oh, oh yes please I, I, I don't have much oh my god so they are becoming partners this is the moment a team they really are <laughs> oh I love it you won't be disappointed I don't think I will no Something in my eye. No, is it allergies don't again? Don't go getting all sappy. Hold me. Look, why don't we just? No. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, it's the dude. Oh, that's what happened to him. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Is all. I agree, Cordelia. You. Oh, there's a little hand there. Lovely. 
a little bit burnt. But what can you do? I'm sure it's still good. Just scrape off the back ends and then you can eat it right away. Is Kate gonna show up? There's a dead guy. Where is she? Is she on holiday? Is she being lazy? God damn it, Kate. Do your job. Show up. Oh, is something gonna jump out? Oh, yeah. I'm not a big talker. I usually let others carry the conversation. I am pretty good at putting these through heads, though. He's actually pretty good at breaking necks. It's stronger than one man. Oh, well, he isn't a man. Oh, who drew that? Hey. Angel, you're a great artist. <laughs> what the hell? Where it comes from. Boss, you can count on it. Oh, Wes, boss. Stop kissing butt. It's not like we get overtime. <laughs> oh, well, I'll get right on it. <laughs> what the fuck? No. I love it. This is so extra. He had two grappling hooks. Not one, but two grappling hooks. And then just ran up on the side of the wall as if he was Spider Man. Like, honey, you're supposed to be Batman. What are you doing? Kate. I'm summoning her. Manifesting it. It's Kate. That ain't Kate. Oh, holy hell. I love her look. Is she the she? She's the she. She's the evil she? Or she's the good she? Oh my goodness. What the hell? <laughs> I just... <laughs> I love him. I mean, it kind of looked like the battery was completely full, but sure. Did she care about me? Did she carry you? Carry the movie, what? you know? I can't hear you. Oh, <laughs> I thought she was like physically carrying him. He may want to hurt me. What man? Where is he? Over there in the black coat. Honestly, he was doing a pretty bad job trying to follow her stealthily. Oh, and uh, Baudelaire is actually a little taller and a lot drunker than he's depicted here. Wait, he met him? <laughs> is it a portal? Oh, are they like trying to rescue some of the women who are like enslaved to the man? No, not the new girl who's just flew here from a different dimension. She will be unmade. She will be what? Unmade? What the hell does that mean? Why does it speak when no one listens? It's not an it, it's a she. Oh my god, that's why it's called she? Because they treat them like objects instead of people? You'll feel so much better after this. I don't think she will. I honestly don't think she will. There. Don't think I want to. I'm scared. What an intimate shot. I come to your world in a fever. That's why. Oh. The ice. Yes. Uh, are they about to kiss? What's going on with these two? This won't stop until we find you. You're gonna have to go through Angel to get to her. And you do not want to piss Angel off. I can tell you that right now. Where are the girls? Namaste to you too. That's Carl oh, from Gilmore Girls. He he was Doyle's relative. Yo, Angel is really throwing in actors that I've seen in either in Angel or Buffy before, expecting me not to notice. I've noticed. What is he doing here? He's not supposed to be this person. He was someone completely different like four or five episodes ago. How are they doing? They're chilling. They're chilling! <laughs> I had to take a shower. <laughs> a cold What's one. Up? We go in, I start hitting people hard in the face. See where it takes us. Oh, oh, maybe it's gonna get you dead. An iconic shot of the three of them. Are you kidding me? They're so hot. I'm in love with every single one of these people. <sighs> My little heart can take this. It's just too much. You wait here. I want a warning when the demons show. Wait, he waits here. Wesley. <laughs> How about a red clay massage? We have hands that heal, brothers. Oh. I really liked you. Goodbye. I don't think we ever see him again. One kiss goodbye. One kiss goodbye. Do they have some sort of like, I don't know how to say this, where they make the man horny? Wait, I'm loving that Courtney is taking part in the fight. She didn't do too well, but she tried. God bless her for trying. Give them back or the humans die. Then they die. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I understand. She has to protect her people first. Hold it still. It's a she, you piece of shit. Angel, angel, please. Angel, please. Angel, please. Please, angel. No, 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 please. Angel, angel! Unless you want to see you. No, I don't. Oh, is it gonna vamp out? 
And I'm not human. <laughs> now, if I were you, I'd grab the next portal out of here. Got it? Yo, why didn't he kill them? Oh, I wanted these people dead or things. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, sweet. Please don't fire me. What happened yesterday was an anomaly. I am very rarely taken hostage. It's good to know. And uh, you're not fired. If you vow to protect the innocent juror, it shouldn't matter which dimension they're from. That's a good point. I think we understand each other then. Are they gonna kiss? I have to go. Okay. Oh, the little heat on her back. It definitely does something. Because both Angel and Wesley became very attracted to them. Okay, they're ending it on that note. Very interesting. <laughs> Wait! Yes! Yes, I love it! So that was episode 13 and I actually really enjoyed this one I mean it ended with the dancing scene so now that's all I remember it's just Wesley and Angel dancing in the most adorable way possible like that that's so good I absolutely love that I can't believe they brought it back at the end like that was so funny I did not expect that at all even though someone told me that I should keep watching this episode after the first credits roll I kind of forgot about it I just happened to still be watching when that came up and it was so good and it was just so unexpected and funny and the way Angel danced was so good like honestly I'm pretty sure that's what I look like when I try to dance so I feel really seen by this show but honestly amazing like so funny I mean the whole main plot was very dark and super creepy and just a little bit unsatisfying the fact that Angel let the dudes go at the end like I don't know why he didn't just kill them honestly He's killed so many other demons before without a second thought and he just let them go? Why? Honestly, they were the ones who truly deserved to die. Jesus fucking Christ, like, that entire storyline was so messed up. But I do love that the episode was called She and then, you know, they kept referring to women as it. I just really like that the episode title went with, like, showing that that's wrong. Like, obviously we know it's wrong, but it really was just, like, emphasizing that it's a she like they're women not objects or anything like that so i thought that it was really good like i'm sure it could have been more nuanced and more well done but i enjoyed what we got like i thought it was kind of interesting i really liked the whole attitude and vibe of the main princess i kind of forgot her name it start starts with like a j or something like that i don't remember exactly but i was very much so enjoying her character like she was very interesting like yeah sure she was like yeah kill the humans like why do you think i care honestly kind of fair obviously i would have been very pissed if one of them had actually died then i would not be on this princess's side then i would want her dead because i do not want to lose anybody else on this show but because everybody is fine it makes sense because you're gonna choose you know, your people who are suffering and are basically slaves to the man. So I understand why she was like, yeah, I have to just protect my people. But I also just loved like her chemistry with Angel. Like that was so interesting. Like, do they have some sort of power is what I was wondering, right? Because her back was sort of glowing at the end and Angel seemed to be like very into her. Like they just had like this crazy chemistry, which could just be like normal and that they're just attracted to each other but then Wesley was acting so corny as well and like just this episode at the beginning we saw how awkward he was with the woman who was flirting with him like he wasn't so forward with her he was just sort of a blabbering mess so him going and being so outward with his feelings and being like oh my god you're so hot and like can I have a kiss for the road it just felt out of character unless these women have some sort of like pheromones maybe is a word i could use here that just make men fall in love with them straight away because i feel like even the guy at the beginning who got torched i think the princess was saying something about him wanting to go and touch 
the other girl who was in the box. Now, of course, it could have been a creep, but what if he was sort of controlled by these their scents or their something? You know what I mean? I, I don't know if that was the case or if it's just like the normal, like, they're pretty, so men are into them and want to be with them. I'm not sure. I do wonder if you're going to see them again because I felt like the ending could possibly leave room for them to come back at some point like you know it wasn't really resolved like the man went back to their own dimension so he, they could come back easily and also i'm assuming the princess is still gonna try and rescue as many women as she can and that also might mean that they have to kill some man at some point like maybe accidentally of course and then angel's gonna have to come and there's gonna be like some sort of fight or something between them. I kind of would love to see them again. I don't know, I really enjoyed the princess and her vibe, as I said before, so it would be kind of cool to see them again. And yeah, Wesley officially became part of the team. Like, that's uh, so exciting. I love it so much that they actually are now working together and he's part of Angel Investigations and now Angel is the boss and oh, I just love him. Like, he was so cute this whole episode. He was like, please don't fire me. Usually I don't get taken hostage. Like, this is just a one-time thing. Like, don't worry, I got this. Like, oh my goodness, I love that so much. Like, the whole Wes, Cordy, Angel relationship, family dynamic is my favorite aspect of this show. I think they work so well together. Like, I never in a million years expected this. I just mean, like, we saw all three of them on Buffy and I did not think that they could have such a good chemistry together. Like, I didn't think the three of them could carry an entire show. It's uh, so cool. Like, I truly love it and I love the three of them together and I can't wait to see more of them. Like, that's truly, like, my favorite part of the show, Angel, at the moment. I mean, we're... 13 episodes into the show and there's still no like overarching plotline. Kate is gone again. <laughs> All right, sure. So I can see how it's still trying to find its footing. But honestly, I love the three main characters so much and their dynamic together that I don't mind it too much. Like I would love it if there was more going on plot wise. However, I am immensely enjoying the characters so much and especially the dancing scene in this episode. My goodness, that was uh, so good. But yeah, my critique is definitely Kate not being in this episode. Like where the hell is Kate? Honestly, I'm a little bit annoyed by that, especially because I remember that episode six was the episode where we got like so much backstory on her and then she disappeared for like five episodes after that. So do I have to wait another five episodes before she comes back again after like a huge episode? Like this is so annoying. I just want to see more of Kate. Like, please, can we have more of Kate? Come on. I just, just please, just for me, just, just please. Okay, so yeah, as I said, I enjoyed this episode. I definitely enjoyed it way more than the previous one. I thought it was interesting and funny and very anger inducing for sure, but I still thought it was interesting and fun. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and a huge, huge shout out to all my patrons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.